Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I wanna to talk about why I do videos and why you should too. So on one of our previous live streams, I was talking about how I'm trying to increase the frequency of the videos a little bit, or if not increase the frequency, at least increase the quality, right? I used to do them every day and now I do them twice a week and I just need to get better at it and it's something I'm always trying to improve on. And there was a very good comment that came in after we did the live stream from Leon Smith who said, why do you feel any obligation to make any videos? Or does the YouTube channel help your app business? Good question. Why do I feel any obligation? So to be honest with you, the channel itself doesn't really generate any revenue. I suppose I make about 200 pounds a month from the ads that you see at the beginning of the video. So it's not, it's not a huge amount considering the amount of time that I put in. And it does bring in some clients. Some clients find Overpass because they find one of the videos or they may find through SEO or they may find through one of the ads. But I don't really have an obligation to do it. To say I have an obligation to do videos makes it sound like it's something I need a reason to do it for. To be honest with you, I love doing the videos. I, you know, and I didn't think I would at first. At first I thought I should do videos. I wanna do videos but I really, really suck at it, right? I hate the way that I look, I hate the way that I sound, I look like a dork, but then I kept pressing through and then eventually started to get a little bit better at it. And now I still think I look like a dork, but you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting easier to do it, right? So there's a lot of things, that, a lot of benefits I get from doing the channel that you might not even realize. First of all, <laughs> I keep going back to the idea of doing a course. Like maybe we should do some sort of course and we'll sell the course online. And you know why the reason I don't do it? It's because I get as much information from you guys as I do from my, as I, as I give out. So I might learn something new when I talk about it, or I might try something new when I talk about it, but you guys will tell me something new. So to start charging for information and stuff, yeah, I feel like there's no way I could do that without holding back on doing the, the normal videos. And in the end, I, th I started thinking about it. I hate the whole buy a course culture, right? Buy my new course for $49.95, right? I thought, you know what, the information, the information should be free, right? It just means I Google things. I, you know, I learned a few things here and there and I'm sharing it with you. You guys share it with me, right? Fine, right? Execution is what costs money. You know, if somebody wants to hire me as a consultant to, to look at something specifically, they do. So some people will, will hire me to, to consult on things. Other people hire the overpass to develop things. It's execution, right? So I don't make a lot of money from the channel that way. I do get a few clients, but mostly I get information. And it has helped me get better at speaking, right? It was um, when I first started, I was I just terrible at talking to people. I'm terrible about talking to clients. I'm terrible about a lot of things. And it helped me sort of solidify what I know and talk about things on a regular basis where I could talk about it freely and easily. Plus, any software developer out there, if you are getting paid for the work that you do, I think it is very important to find a medium, whether it be blog posting or commenting on Stack Overflow or doing videos or doing podcasts, find a way to demonstrate your skill so that you're employable in the future. Even if you have a job now, you have to be marketable, right? Because that job's not gonna last forever. And, um, and that is another thing I could do, right? When I talk to somebody about apps, when somebody you know, books some of my time for consulting, they don't question whether or not I know what I'm talking about. They've seen a few videos. They know, you know I know what I'm talking about. If I don't know what I'm, ta what I'm talking about, I'll tell them I don't know. And uh, any software developer out there, anybody has an app, anything you could do to get yourself out there, I highly, highly, highly encourage it. Leon, there is no obligation. The obligation is to myself. I wanna get better at it. Like anything you do, if you wanna do it, do it well. And, uh, and that's why. So 
any developers out there, anybody with an app out there, I encourage you to, to look into video, look into blogs, look into doing something. You need to get out there. The number one reason why your app is not being downloaded or your CV is not getting, or you're not getting hired as a developer is because people don't know who you are and you need to address that one inch at a time. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have a channel, please post the link down in the comments so everybody else can see it. And that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again next time.